Hi guys, Mark here with Walters World, and we're in Beijing, China, and I have something very important to talk to you about, about staying here in China, and that is the toilets. Guys, it's squatter toilets here in China. Just so you know, a few things you should know about. Toilet paper goes in over here. You do not throw the toilet paper or the tampons or anything down there because you've got to put it in the trash because the pipes can't handle it. Otherwise, it's, it's pretty similar, except I just had to jump down. So if you see these steps, the toilets usually have a step right there, so be careful because I see a lot of Westerners, they walk in, boom, trip, fall right there. Not the tastiest, not the funnest thing to do. But I want you to know that's what's there. Also, so if you notice in here, you have the squatter and there's where your toilet paper goes. But look, there's no toilet paper. You need to bring your own toilet paper when you come here to China, or well, when you go to the bathroom because they don't have it in there. If they do, it's by the front door, which would be like over there or the entrance. Uh, they don't have it here, so you got to make sure you bring it. So, for a little more help with the bathroom, it's good to know some of the vocabulary to go with it, like make sure you go into the male room or the men's room instead of the women's room. So we're going to go through some of the basic vocabulary you're going to need to know. Now, a bathroom in Chinese is called 洗手间. 洗手间. Now, if you want a men's room, you go and you ask for them. 男洗手间. 男洗手间. And if you want the women's restroom, you ask for 女洗手间. And what you can do is, you can just say non for guys or new for women and you'll be okay. Also, know that the bathroom floors can be pretty gross and my wife gets freaked out every time she comes out, so make sure you don't just have your own wipes, like tissues have some anti-back wipes as well, just in case, okay? Now, if you've got to take a piss, to take a piss is... No, no. No, no. Okay? Or if you got to take a poop, which it happens and you got to squat, you've seen it, so take a poop. La ba ba. La ba ba. La ba ba. Hey, that's probably the best line I've heard all this time. Okay? Now, um, for women, when you're here, if you want to get, if you need to get tampons, tampons are. Wei sheng jin. Wei sheng jin. And you can get those here pretty regularly, it's not a problem. Just know that you do not throw those down the toilets. Usually your hotels and stuff will have a sanit, it'll say like sanitary bag or something like that, and you put it in there and you throw it in the trash, and your toilet paper you throw in the trash. Now, the big western hotels and stuff, you can flush your toilet your, your, your toilet paper down, but tampons you still got to throw into the trash. And places like more public places, the last time you're throwing the toilet paper into the trash as well, not down the sink, not down the holes because the system can't take it. But anyway, so so obviously I keep telling you you got to bring your own toilet paper, but you got to ask to go buy it. So toilet paper is. Shoujie. Shoujie. And you'll see a lot of people have like little mini Kleenex packages with them, so you just have that and you're fine. Some other stuff, if you're in the bathroom, you got the water to wash your hands. Water is? Shui. Shui. And if you want hot water to wash your hands, that's hot water is? Rua shui. Rua shui. Now, if you want a towel, towel is? Mao jin. Mao jin. But most likely, you're not going to get a towel when you're in the restrooms. You're going to have a, one of the hand dryer things. So just so you know that. Also, soap. Xiang zao. Probably not going to have any soap in the bathroom either, so bring your own antibacterial stuff from the U.S. or wherever because it's very hard or almost impossible to find here in China. Now, I hope this helped you learn a little bit more about going to the bathroom in China so you know what to expect. Now, if you go to a Western hotel or restaurants, they're going to have Western style toilets. And if you go to big main sites like in Xi'an or, or other places, you'll actually have things like Western toilets this way, and they'll have different ones out there. But just so you know, get ready for the squatters, because even on the nice trains, they'll have a squatter and a normal sit-down one. But for here, the normal is the squat. So I hope that helps you. I hope you enjoy your time in China. It's not just the shitter, but you enjoy it everywhere, because it is a fantastic place. I love it. The pen, people have been great. Lanny's been nice enough to suck it up and, and talk about toilets and tampons and stuff. But you know what? It's really going to help you have a better time here in China. If you want to learn more about visiting China, Five things you should love to about China, top 10 sites in Beijing, learn a little Chinese. Check us out on our website, waltersworld.com. We're on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, all kinds of stuff. Please like and subscribe because we really appreciate it. And bye from the bathrooms of Beijing, China. Bye. One more thing is when you do wash your hands, a lot of time it's a shared communal wash hand space. So you have the women's room and the men's room and we share our hand washing facilities, just so you know that, so you don't feel like, oh, I'm in the women's room, when you're actually just in the shared hand washing area.